A howling wind blew across South Miami-Dade, and when dawn broke, it revealed unspeakable ruin, the most costly natural disaster in the history of the U.S. Terrible loss mirrored tens of thousands of times over, block after block, mile after mile, devastation after a night that we spent. In the closet, laying on top of my baby. Everywhere, surreal images. How did that boat get there? Cars and trucks tossed about like Tonka toys, and toys, toys didn't stand a chance. If we lost our homes, we also lost places where we shopped and ate. Some churches looked like the devil himself had come to call. Everything that makes a community gone with the wind. Homestead Air Force Base, the economic jet engine of South Dade, was demolished. Warplanes thrown around like cracked pieces from a G.I. Joe set. Utility crews came in not knowing where to start. Oh, man. This is like someone nuked this whole area. Ice and water were gold. Profiteers made a fortune on this truckload of ice that sold in minutes. This woman sobbed over missing out, but there were good turns. We're trying to help out. This family drove down giving away lunch from their van. Do you know where your next meal is going to come from after this? No, ma'am, I don't. She and her three kids, though, would not get lunch. The bologna sandwiches and milk ran out. This Howard Johnson's became a field hospital. <laughs> A wall fell on this boy during Andrew three days earlier. A volunteer doctor diagnosed a skull fracture and remarked over all the misery. They're without roofs, they're without their water, without their electricity. More like a third world country right now. Do you know that's against the law? You can go to jail? Looters went to work. Police would arrest hundreds. Signs like these were everywhere. It's been a long three days without sleep, partner. Businessmen and homeowners armed themselves. A sign on a roof expressed a sense of abandonment. From the county's emergency services boss, a question heard around the world. Where in the hell is the Calvary on this one? The president? I'm not going to participate in the blame game. Bristled, but got busy. Huge military planes began to arrive, disgorging trucks and supplies and troops, and the commander declared, The cavalry is at full gallop now. They fed the masses and directed massive tent cities. <laughs> Thousands left homeless, housed in tents, kept out of the rain. Teacher asked me, where do I live? It's not my address. I told the tent city. This was my street after Andrew. My wife's dad came down to help and brought his camcorder. That's what you see down the street. It's the damnedest thing I ever saw. It was the damnedest thing any of us ever saw, and we could not imagine the hard weeks and years that would lie ahead.